Let me ask you quickly. I, we haven't talked to you in so long. I want to ask you about your family. Ah, my great family. I yeah. love them all. How's your? Uh, we used to talk in the old days. You and I used to used to spend some yarns about Uncle Hector. How's Uncle oh, Hector? Oh, Uncle Hector. Uncle Hector. He's Polish too, I'm guessing. No, he wasn't Polish. Oh, okay. No, he was from my uh, cousin's side of the family, and he was. Uh, <laughs> He was, uh, he was a great man, my uncle, you know. Right. Uh, he uh, was an old fella. He, he actually uh, uh, rode the rails during the Depression. Oh. You know, he was a hobo. Hobo. As you might uh, call him. I yeah. don't like that term. But whatever. <laughs> tramp or whatever. Yeah, what have you? Railroad bum. <laughs> and, uh, but he wasn't a bum. He was just out. He was a good, honest man during the Depression searching for work, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, you know, he had no money, so he'd travel the country trying to find work, and he actually rode the rails, mm -hmm. Uncle Hector. And, uh, and uh, he told me, uh, it was an interesting story, he'd go through, this was in Canada, and uh, there's a, a town called Kitchener in Canada, mm -hmm. and the railroad cops were tough, boy. They were Ooh. tougher, tougher yeah. than the real cops, you know. They had a law of their own, the railroad cops. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be tucked into bed listening to you. <laughs> Anyway, a law of their own, those railroad yeah. cops. But there was not a railroad cop tougher than Kitchener Leslie. Oh, boy. He was well known. He was well known for beating hobos to death. Really? Oh, He'd yeah. find a hobo on his train, he beat him to death. He beat him to death. And uh, so what the, uh, the railroad bums would all do is, as Kitchener approached, of course... Oh, hey, hey Norm, how you doing? So, um... <laughs> wow, such focus on these stories. That wasn't a mirror, that was another okay. guy. Okay, oh, that was a guy named Norm. Yeah. So, uh, 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 the railroad bums would all see hop off before they got to Kitchener right. to avoid being beaten to death by Kitchener Leslie. Yeah. Anyways, my, uh, my uh, Uncle Hector, a good man, you know, and he, he walked into a mine one day. This is a, a story for the, uh, that they think the young people could learn from. He, <laughs> this is yeah, during, don't go mine hopping, kids. Dur during the height of the Depression, where there was absolutely no work, my Uncle Hector walked into, to a, uh, I won't say the name of the mining company, it was McIntyre Mine. And he, <laughs> and he walked in, he had, his, he had his lunchbox with him and his, uh -huh. his, his uh, work boots, and he said, Sir, he said, uh, I want a job. And they said, We have no jobs. He said, Well, 500 people work here at McIntyre Mine. He goes, uh, I don't think there are 500 men here better than I. Uh, he says, as a matter of fact, I don't think there are 200 men better than I. He says, I, I think you'd be uh, strapped to find 100 men better than I. And by golly, he got the job. What do that's, you think of that? That's a great story. Now, I'm sensing there's more. Now, back to Kitchener Leslie. Yeah. The no, most dreaded. No, no, no. Uncle Hector. Uncle Hector. What? No. I'm sorry, I'm Hector. trying to help you out. No, Uncle Hector. Dad, where is this story going? Uncle, Uncle Hector uh, worked in a mine, and it's, yeah. a, it's a hellish job, the mine, as you well know. Uh, you know, uh, darkness, you know? <laughs> it's dank. It's, it's dank. Yeah. It's, it's coaly. It's a lot of. What? <laughs> Well, you're in a coal mine. It's you not coaly. It's coal ridden. It's coal, coal infested. Ridden. It's not coaly. It's coal infested. <laughs> so, uh, so he worked in the mine, and by God, he worked hard. And uh, after a week of working hard, he said to the, the shift manager, he said, where? He said, by golly, I'd like to have a lady. I work hard, and, and, and uh, where, would I find a, where would I find a lady here in town? Well, they said to Uncle Hector, they says, uh, uh, we don't have, uh, we have sex with animals here. <laughs> By God, says Uncle Hector, I'm not going to do that. I, why, I'm a, a normal fella. Uh, well, that, then uh, be uh, to your own devices then. So, uh, Uncle, be to your own devices? Uh, yeah. Wow. Uncle, Uncle Hector continued working in the mine. He worked hard and he worked long and he worked for a low wage. But he was a man. <laughs> and, uh, and Uncle Hector, after a couple of weeks passed, he, he started to get a little itch, you know, as, as you and I say. Right. You know, he, <laughs> Right, right. Well, when we're thinking about the the ladies, the you ladies, know? yeah. And, uh, but he kept it under control. He went again. And he said, "Are you sure there's no ladies here?" No, we have sex with animals. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> six, six months passed, and Uncle Hector couldn't take it any longer. He told me. Right. He said, "By God, I just had to. Uh, I, I'm just a man. I'm weak, you know. I'm I'm not a saint, uh, you know. And uh, I, I was I was born in sin, I suppose. And I I, I couldn't resist." I just needed it. So he, so he said he walked uh, by a, a pasture, and there, there was a pig. 
Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. And uh, so Uncle Hector said, well, uh, he, he said, I walked up and I, I began having sex with a pig. <laughs> and he said, uh, all of a sudden, he saw all the miners, like, around him, you know, looking at him. They go, Uncle Hector, oh, what the hell are you doing over there? And Uncle Hector's, like, indignant. He's like, what? Well, you, you're the guys that told me that, uh, that uh, you have sex with animals. They're like, Uncle Hector, you damn fool. That's Kitchener Leslie's girlfriend. <laughs> of all the animals, all the animals to have sex they, with. You're doing a sex And not with Kitchener Leslie's pig. Girl, no, that's terrible. Not Kitchener Leslie's pig. Kitchener Leslie's lady. Oh, yeah.